Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, hopefully, you're going to enjoy some 200 IQ plays today. Uh, I've left this up. You can hit pause if you want to have a look at the stats uh, and see where I've been earning my money and getting my kills. So that's just if you're interested. I know some people might have been interested. Uh, and this is me doing my settings. So this is why I'm fanning around, waiting. There we go. And we're off. Uh, and you're going to see some very good plays. In my opinion, guys, uh, you'd have to decide whether they're 200 IQ or not. I think they are. But I would say that, wouldn't I? Anyway, this is the route I've taken into the zone. And we're down into the town. We have taken fire. Me and my teammate. So, I'm getting out of the Humvee. And I'm going to go and wait in this house. And see if we get pushed. I've got my earplugs out. There you go, there's a grenade. It might have been my guy, but I don't think so. So have a listen. There you go, there's footsteps. So, check that over there. And we're going to go around this way. There's a guy in the window. Still. Maybe more. Oh look, someone's gone in to revive him. Right, I'm going to sneak up on him. Let him get into the revive animation. Got a push. I'm sure you all know about doing that sort of thing. So, uh, they never came down to revive them. I waited quite a while and no one came to save those guys. So, I came down here and picked off one of the paratroopers. And then I remembered about that one, sort of. I was a bit disappointed that I didn't hit him. I thought, okay, well that'll get him. But it didn't. And I spent a few minutes looking for him, but I couldn't find him. And I heard that up on the hill. There he is. They do look silly with their deployed weapon, don't they? I'd heard shooting coming from down here, so I came all the way down here. I was really heading to the derelict house, which you'll see in a minute. Oh, here we go. Look, this guy's sniper sort of road camping. He was there all game. But I came to this derelict house. So I thought I'd seen people here, but they'd been killed, and it was empty when I got here. So I'm outside the bloody zone now, but I see people moving around. Here. Not standing close enough to the wall, look, but I do remember. You can see the difference it makes. I see it's not bad shooting with the reflex side, is it? Let's be honest, it's not bad at all, and that's why I'm using it really, because I just don't need the optics, I don't think. You know. It sort of keeps me engaging things a little bit closer, and <laughs> really, these sort of shots, you know, are quite satisfying, to, to be frank. <sighs> I'd like to have got him as well, but... I see they're all, that's pretty good kills from this range with a reflex site. And now they're smoking, so I'm going to push. And hopefully I'll get them both if I can get there quickly enough. But I don't quite really get there, do I? Look. But if I can get in the compound, I don't think they'll be expecting me to be this close to them, will they? Oh, fuck. I don't have a grenade. I'd have got... 
So, I came back one other time and I got insta-killed. So this is my uh, third life, as it were. Now, I think I'm going to go and see if I can heal that guy, because I know he's between the wall and the uh, garage, so he should be in quite a safe position. Oh. See, I did tell you I was getting the hang of this gun. And I think you're going to see throughout this that, yeah, I have really got the hang of it by now. I'm going to go and camp uh, that body in case they come and revive him. Oh, look, here comes the ambulance. Right. Okay, because I want to get both of them. And then I see that guy's feet. And that's quite irritating. The fucking glass. And that's even more irritating. That's not a 200 IQ grenade. Um, so yeah, the medic guy was smart enough to hear the firing and think, fuck me, that's close, and break out of the animation. But unfortunately, he's not smart enough to move very far, as you'll see. So yeah, he pays for that. I'm now going to go and get the guy who's probably just finished healing himself. There he is. fairly straightforward. And I go and restock my grenades. If I can quickly. And as you're watching this, look at my hat. Watch my hat. Keep looking at my hat. Keep looking at my hat. Forget me getting grenades, it's boring. Watch the hat. Watch the hat. Did you see that? Okay, I you know didn't have time to switch to fucking grenades quickly enough because that stupid looting thing. I can't see him. I'm gonna push right round. And that's why, you know, you just, that's peripheral vision, that's being in the zone, in a state of flow, that's the modern term, which basically means you've got your shit together and everything's going right. Oh, I can hear a camo truck, i got reinforcements coming, I'll track that down there, and I'm going to wait here. And, uh, I know I'm on my own, guys, as I'll explain in a second. Fuck, it's just down there now. That's how fucking good I am, guys. <laughs> That's a nice one. I know that really any movement anywhere near me is going to be enemy. And the reason for that is my team are playing static. And they're rubbish. And I'm literally fighting on my own. You'll see at the end, I think, you know, the next highest score is a sniper. Or someone who's using a sniper rifle or a DMR. So literally, I feel like I'm fighting alone. I must have got shot from behind. Just too many of them. Fucking hell. Probably should have fucking pulled back, really. Uh, I was just getting the packs a little bit too aggressive there. Fuck. If I'd have waited, uh, well, I should have probably gone back outside the way I'd come in um, and looped behind them again. But to be honest, I didn't actually expect there to be fucking two that side. But there's probably more than that even. There's probably three. So a bit of a fuck up, really. So I'm back in the zone in a slightly different area. I'm not sure if that was at me or past me. No, that was at me. Let's have a look. Oh, there's someone down there. It's a bit harder because I'm not resting, but... If I rested, I'd have to go up to that wall and that would have raised my profile. And remember, I'm not, I've not got a helmet on, so I don't really want my head up as high as it would have been. I should cross here. There are people, you saw the laser mark. I heard footsteps, but someone's then marked someone, which is quite handy. There he is. Still listening. I'm gonna check the road. That was me fucking up me, I should have had him. But as you see, look, they're fighting in packs. <laughs> like bloody wolves. So, you know, that's three of them on me. And a 
apart from my guy miles away with the laser, there's no one helping me. And you probably say, yeah, well that's because you're outside, isn't it? We're all safe inside, we're not coming outside. Fucking hell. I'll try and get in this building. In case they push that guy. But I spent a little bit too long in here, to be honest. I go all static, and I think I probably got flanked. Which is a bit shit. Jesus Christ, this is the thing, our guys just don't fucking seem to realise that people are shooting. Or if they, or perhaps they do, perhaps they realise, oh fucking hell, someone's shooting. Hide in the fucking house, close the doors and don't stand near the fucking windows. That's, the, that's what my fucking team are like. No, you're shooting, quick, quick, hide, hide away, hide away. Whereas what you should be doing is a bit like the US Marines. If you hear gunfire, you run to fucking towards it. Oh dear. I assume you uh, did spot that guy in the shop front. So I chuck that in there in case he's just backed off. And he was actually smart enough to move. Just not very far. So anyway, I, I pick up another death here and there, and not much happening. And I pull over to this side of the town again. I get all the way up into these buildings, look. And I said to her IQ, I didn't say I wasn't blind. <laughs> I've fucking been in that room a little while and I hadn't spotted that AFK. -er. Oh, hang on. I can hear something. It's one of those camo trucks. Oh, it's coming in here. Crouch down. Let him go past me, but he doesn't know I'm here. They have KO. Oh, they might be coming to revive him. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Alright. I'll chuck that there. And I'll wait here. No, I can't hear anything. Oh look, they've got a dead guy. Well, I'll have him then when they revive him. Oh shit. Come on in, get out. I'll throw a grenade at him. But I threw it under the truck. Shit. Anyway, as you can see, I've managed to come back. Let's just hope I can get a free kill here. Yeah, they had revived him. And now I'm pushing up into the sort of centre of the town. There they come, look. You see, they're basically coming in at anybody doing anything about it, because all my guys are sitting in houses further deeper into the zone. Bit eager, and I went too far, look. But again, I remember, and I used the rest weapon. Unfortunately, I'm just picking up assists. And the next thing goes past is that. And this is me thinking, right, well, I'm going to go and get them. But this is the prelude to the next section, guys. Because I know where they're going now. So as you can see, I'm back over this side of the town. Because this is the area they've been driving into. And as we've seen, those trucks have been sort of full of people. So, again, I'm just going to be a little bit static. And I'm waiting, you know, for people to get killed and for them to come back. And I'm not here very long. And there we go. It's quite quiet, so I'm expecting them to push more or less straight away. It goes a bit far. And these, I'm not. I mean, I'm hoping I might kill someone with them, but if I, I want to break people's legs, kill someone, slow them down a bit, 
to sort of break up their flow. But they seem to have been quite cautious and they haven't come across that road. Oh shit. Fucking hell. They probably did see me, didn't they? Because I had my stance raised to look through that, so they probably did spot me. Pull back a little bit. They're not pushing yet, though, are they? Look. Right. Well, we don't want that. I don't want the fucking building falling down, so I'm going to fall back. They probably didn't see me. Pretty sure they think I'm still in that building. Yeah, look, they're throwing grenades and shit at it still. You see that guy up there on the rocks? He's dead. Yeah, they probably think I'm firing out of the windows, you see. I can't hear anything, but I'll keep checking. There we go. Our guy they were shooting at. Alright, let's fucking push him. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ. But that's how you take out three fucking campers. <laughs> that was pretty fucking awesome. Right. Like I said earlier, they're coming around in packs. Oh fuck, guy across the road, garage. Fuck, get down. He's chucked a nade, he's gone. There he is. Got him, let's get across quickly. running out of ammo as well. So that was quite a nice little run guys wasn't it? There was some good play there. As you can see, you know, I really am fighting their fucking whole team on my own. <laughs> I mean, you know, our guys are shooting, fuck knows what at though, probably at each other. Oh god, look, here they come. And I'm worried that he's gone into the building, so I make a mistake here. I should have stayed inside, but I, I did think he'd gone into the first building. I didn't think he was actually going to walk out in the open. So I respawn, and you'll hear me bleat about my team because, look, this is where they all are, fucking in spawn. And that was my last action of the game because I got the bad module crash. So I kept coming back in to try and get me points, but I didn't get the timing right. So I didn't get any experience from that round, I'm afraid. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe they were 200 IQ plays. Maybe they weren't. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. And please leave a like.